know that you've been excited. We've been looking for that reason to sort of get back into Warhawk. The patch that came out fixed things, but the 1.2 patch along with the expansion, I think is really what we were looking for yeah. as gamers. And, and ever since I knew it was going to be announced, that I've sort of held off on Warhawk until You're it right. came out. I'm in the you same know? boat as you. Um, so, you know, we've seen screenshots of the dropship, and we've seen screenshots of the new map, but guess what, guys? It doesn't really do justice. Here is the first actual video of the new dropship in action for the expansion that's coming this Pay month. Pay attention Let's to the sounds, too. Pay attention, you guys. Pay attention. Huh? Is there sound? There is. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's probably going to be really loud. Oh yeah. A little bit like one of those ships in the Matrix. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Holy guys, shit! Uh, chain guns on both sides. Those are mini guns, right? Yeah. And then it transforms. It yeah. transforms. <laughs> this is this is sort of its like fast moving mode. Now it's also got rocket launchers uh, that lock on, as you can see here. Now here's it using it on the Warhawk. <laughs> Still um, you can devastating. put individual people inside those. And, I think uh, you have up to seven, right? Check this out. So people have been asking, is this thing powerful? You know, watch can it take out a hit? This is an anti-aircraft gun, okay? Now, three of those shots could have taken out a Warhawk. It's now reloading. <laughs> <laughs> and... Nice. Uh, there it is. It's All just right. about two full clips. So uh, the yeah the I mean I like the, that little we were we and Sue and I had this discussion. I hope the dropship's powerful. You know, like it's got to be balanced in terms of. I hope there's only like one on the map. Or there something. is a, there's people, only one on the oh, map okay. at any given time. So people will just so you know I, well it could it, yeah you're I would we saw screenshots of huge fucking battles in the background of these two ships shooting at each other. But imagine like if there's only one on a map, a new strategy in the game is going to be try to get their drop ship and then like take it somewhere where they can't get to it and it will never respawn again or steal their drop ship and use two yeah, drop two ships against them. Two at a time them. is great too, yeah. So I am kind of excited to see how this changes the dynamic of gameplay. Now I know that I'm excited, I know Suma's excited. Force, does a new expansion for Warhawk, does it, do, I mean, are you interested at all? You know, are, is it worth $10? That's the question. You know, for for that new ship, and I I'm not sure if, if it's not you know, just the to... new ship though. I You're it was also getting a map. You're also getting new map. You're getting a bunch of new customization options. Uh, like you know, it, when you rank up, you get like new clothing and shit to put in. I mean, yeah, they're not adding a whole lot, but I thought it was seven ninety nine. It's ten bucks. No, you know what? I I just I assumed it was ten bucks. If it's seven ninety nine, oh. and it's all a matter of is everyone going to get it? You know, I don't want to be the only guy who has it. You know, if it's something we're all going to do, eight well, bucks is... I'm going to get that. it. I don't um, know about you. I'm going to get it. Um, so there's get two guys. One. Maybe we could just all three I'm have not a nice get it. gay Warhawk <laughs> orgy and fly around in our drop ships and shoot each other with chain guns. <laughs> um, I, but I know what you mean, and, and I hope that... And, and I haven't heard announcement. Are they going to repackage this? Will they sell another retail version mm -hmm. of Warhawk, Omega Dawn? Um, you know, because doesn't this also make the previous Warhawk yeah. in a box sort of obsolete? How would you play... The other one, if you didn't download. Well, the only thing um, it would be the map. So um, that, means that would, was on. That was how on would the you map access the exists. ships? Yeah. Well, they not only have improved mm -hmm. or added one map, but they've also then changed all the maps to well, support to. the drop ship. Hmm. So they're but they're like they're new versions of the map, basically. I wonder what they're gonna do. That, right. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't think about that. May, are you sure the drop ship's not only available on the new map? No, it's a, that was an that old was an map old map that, that, was that wasn't there. Map. Yeah, um, so we'll, we'll be finding out more information in the upcoming days. There's a chance they, they continue to say they haven't put a date, they haven't tacked a date on for December, but they continue to say we're hitting December. We will I think in the next couple December. week or so. Yeah, I would not be surprised to see it drop next week or even the week after. Um, so moving on, guys, you may remember about a week back, I think, uh, we talked about a senator from California who urged parents not to purchase violent video games for kids this holiday season. Now, mm. the statement is really more obvious than me saying, don't buy gay horse porn for your kids this holiday. It's <laughs> not healthy for them. 
it's not. All right. Well, Damn. yeah, well, no I have shit, to go return Sherlock. Um, one, suge <laughs> one suggestion that I did throw out, though, guys, was that, you know, maybe you could make a little bit more effective campaign against violent games if you actually came out with a list. You know, <laughs> holy shit, what a concept. Here's 10 games. You know, because this 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 uh, uh, senator is basically going, parents, you need to be more educated. Don't buy your kids this shit. But the parents don't know what not to buy their kids. I mean, sure, they could just say anything with an M-rated title, but anything it with might W I I on it. Right even, beyond but, that, yeah. well, <laughs> I don't agree. So anyway, this uh, I so I threw out the fact that you know we need a guide. We need a list of games. Mm -hmm. And thank God that Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy has stepped up to the plate and done just that. Yeah, way to go, Kim Worthy. And you guys failing epically in the process, all right? <laughs> Miss Worthy claims expect? these games encourage shooting, running over people, oh my God. buying and selling drugs, oh Lord. and blames all real world crime oh, for these games so right I, here. Actually. You guys want to know what made the top 10 violent video games list? Let's check it out. Woo! At number 10, Hitman Blood Money. Okay, I guess that's All kind right. of violent. It's old, but it's violent. Number nine, God of War. It's about time someone spoke up <laughs> and talked about this game. You know, <laughs> not God of War 2, mind you, that just fucking the came first out. One. <laughs> I'm talking about the original God of War. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Don't go Bad. buy that. Super violent. Not the second one. The second one's all flowers. Yeah, you can buy the second <laughs> one. Unicorns and rainbows and shit. There's some love one, scene in the beginning. Second one does not have a sex scene right in the beginning. <laughs> number number eight. Resident Evil 4. Hell yeah. Agreed. Um, yeah, sure, I would agree it's, with it's this It's promoting one. the killing of zombies. And, and not only, not agree they're not that. zombies. Well, whatever. They're not they're dead <laughs> fucking zombies. Right? Infected humans, yeah, there's a difference. Yes, there's definitely a, a difference. Thank you for, oh, for um, clearing up the Number zombie, seven. The oh. GameCube title that is on everyone's wish list this, this holiday season, Killer7. Woo! In fact, God, I, I mean, every every little 11-year-old kid has come up to me and emailed me and been like, we, fuck Call of Duty, forget about, you know, Bioshock or Mass Effect. I want Killer7 this holiday season. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Nothing has caused more deaths in the United States than Killer Exactly. Seven. I've never heard of this game. <laughs> yeah, from all five who bought it. Exactly. <laughs> you got three Not to it. mention it's a cartoon. It a well, how, did the, how did this reporter get it? They saw Killer. They looked up video games and <laughs> death and kill, and Killer 7 popped up. I, what I think these people did is they looked at a list of violent video games from three years ago. And that's Probably. what they got. Number six, guys. The Godfather. Yep, got to put that on there. Oh, I mean, was the movie not bad enough and <laughs> causing the downfall of our society? That, you know, of right, course the video right. Game. It's not I mean, the, the movie came fault. out in the seventies, right? It's the we, fucking we haven't been the same fault, since. Right? And, and the mob has been around since well forever. <laughs> the most recent game on this list, three <laughs> three hundred, the video game. Oh, stay on away. PSP. Was that on mobile? <laughs> stay or, away. Was that on yeah. cell phone? Or is that actual? yeah PSP? <laughs> oh, yeah, right, Force. Yes, it is on the PSP. Yeah. Okay. And it's a piece of dookie. You cannot um, tell whew. what the hell's Number, going on. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, a game so popular that I have had a very tough time finding it in retail stores, guys. 50 Cent Bulletproof. <laughs> I think White Diamond fuck, worked on man. that. You, you can have mine. I bought it and haven't opened it yet. I was like, for four oh my bucks, God. I'll try it. I can't bring myself to do it. Those are the types of things that we don't say <laughs> on EG that you bought 50 Cent Bulletproof. Don't. Okay, uh, Force has got a copy for sale. He's the only one that's gonna actually. Five bucks and yours. Number three, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Again, <laughs> um, you know the movie didn't do it. Right. Only right. the video game. You know. Thirty years ago, completely okay. And, and you know what, guys? Because it wouldn't be right to not at least give out an alt alternative. You know, because if you're not gonna buy Scarface the mm. game, then you know what? At least buy them Scarface the movie. Because it's not as bad. No. Uh, then number they can see two. What cocaine really looks like. <laughs> a number, uh, you know, another issue of sequels not being as bad as good as the original. <laughs> number two is Manhunt, not Manhunt Two. Well, at least they have taste Manhunt. when they make the list. You Manhunt, know, a little the bit. First of taste. one. Yeah. Because again, hot you seller. You can tell what you're doing <laughs> in that, that one. On everyone's two. list. <laughs> number one. A game released six years ago for the PlayStation <laughs> Two. <laughs> Don't buy your kids this six-year-old PlayStation 2 game, bitches. 
Grand Theft Auto is number one. <laughs> the not first Grand one. Theft Auto three. The, the regular one with vanilla little one. Cars going yeah. around. <laughs> yeah. Not Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Not Vice City. Grand Theft Auto top down 2D version. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that 2D carnage. It's Holy too shit. too fucking violent for your kids, guys. That's why I get into car accidents and stuff. It's like this article is from back in time or something. <laughs> Exactly. Maybe they're Maybe sitting it on so, it for. So you know what? Here is under embargo. Kim Worthy's watching epileptic gaming as she does every day, and she's like, "Oh my god, that's a great idea! I should create a list of the games that are violent." And then she fucking went to Google and was like, 10 violent video games." And the first thing that came up is some dickhead GameSpot article from from 2005 that listed the top 10 violent games. And there you go, people.